Do you have a laptop with a broken screen like this one? Or maybe you just want a bigger screen to work with. Either way, today I'm going to show you how to turn your laptop into a desktop. Let's get into it. So a couple of weeks ago, I got a call from a client. She was in panic mode. She had a presentation the next day at work and she dropped her laptop and busted the display. So she was wondering how quick could I replace the display? And I told her, unfortunately, it's not likely that I would be able to get the part in and get that done before her presentation tomorrow. So I'd recommended that she just use an external monitor, keyboard and mouse. And she was taken aback by that. She didn't realize that was an option. So then she said, well, you know, I don't know if I have a computer monitor laying around. So my next question was, well, do you have a TV? Of course she did. So I told her, hey, plug it up to the TV. That'll get you through your presentation tomorrow. So I got to thinking, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that don't realize that that is an option. So if you've cracked your display and put that laptop aside because you think, you know, it's broken, now I've got to get a new one. Maybe you did get a new one and you're still holding on to that laptop with the broken screen. Maybe there's files on there that you need to get off. Maybe you just need to repurpose the laptop, right? The laptop display is independent of the actual motherboard and processor, right? So just because your display's gone out, there's likely nothing wrong with the rest of the computer. So you can simply just plug it up to a display, add a keyboard and mouse, and you've got a computer. Now, there's a couple of settings that we'll need to change so that when you close the lid, the laptop doesn't go to sleep, and I'm gonna show you that. I'm also gonna go through the different types of cables that you might possibly need. I'll even show you a budget-friendly monitor, keyboard, and mouse that you can pick up for under 100 bucks. Especially in the case of this laptop here, it's just not worth putting the money in to fix the display. This one specifically was probably $200 brand new. When the display got busted, it's really not worth fixing. You would just chunk it, right? Well, we're going to repurpose it. Any laptop is going to have some kind of display port on the back of it, whether it is actually an HDMI or a VGA or display port or mini display port more likely than not it's going to be an hdmi port another thing about hdmi ports is if you've got a television it also has an hdmi port and typically if you have a monitor a pc monitor it has a couple of options so usually it at least has an hdmi port it may also have a vga port if it's older or it may have the display port so you're going to have some options but most likely you'll be able to use an HDMI cable from your laptop to the monitor or TV, whichever one you use. I'm gonna grab a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. Let's go. Okay, so we have just a standard PC monitor. We have our laptop with the broken screen. I have a standard keyboard and wireless mouse. This is the little USB dongle that controls both the wireless keyboard and the mouse. I will put links in the description for the mouse and keyboard combo, a monitor, and any cables that we might use. So I'm just going to plug in my little dongle here. Okay. And in my case, this particular laptop takes what's known as the mini HDMI. Most laptops will not. This is, by definition, isn't really a laptop. It's more like a netbook or a Chromebook with Windows on it. So it happens to take a mini HDMI. So that's just the side that actually plugs into the computer. It's just slightly different. The side that goes into the monitor or the TV, whichever one you choose, is a standard HDMI port. I'm going to put up a graphic that shows all of the different display ports that you could potentially come across and I'll show you some of the cables and an adapter. Okay, so I'm going to plug this into my monitor. And I'm going to plug this into the laptop.
And as you can see, it's already popped up there on my monitor. And I can now control it. Okay, so now we want to be able to close this lid and continue to use it like it's a desktop. So there's just one setting we need to change. So let's jump onto the computer. Okay, so you just want to come down here to your search box and type in lid. And then you're just going to click right here where it says change what closing the lid does. That's going to bring up this screen right here. You don't have to change these settings here for what happens when you press the power button or when you press the sleep button, unless you just want to. What we are interested in here is this last one. So we want to change this from whatever it's currently on. And this is when I close the lid. We want to change this from whatever it's currently on to do nothing. And once you've got that changed, then go ahead and hit save changes. And that's going to allow us to close that lid without it putting the laptop to sleep. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you found value in this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me tremendously with that YouTube algorithm. Thank you, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so we got our keyboard. We got our mouse. Not that mouse. This mouse. And now that we've changed that setting, we can close the lid. So now with the lid closed, there's all kind of things you can do by getting this out of the way. Right? But the important thing is, now you can use that laptop again. Now, here's another scenario. Maybe your screen's not broken and you just want a bigger display or a second display. So you can do that as well. But in this particular case, we're repurposing a laptop that had a broken monitor. Now, I'm gonna go over with you now the different types of cables that you might need. I'll put a chart up here, we'll go through them. I'll also include links again, like I said, for a monitor, for a keyboard and mouse, for any cables you might need. I will put all of those links in the description of the video. Okay, this one is gonna be the most common type. This is the HDMI cable. This one is also important because if you choose to use your TV instead of a PC monitor, your TV will definitely have an HDMI port on it. It probably has several. So you can certainly do exactly what we just did, but plug the laptop up to the TV using the HDMI cord. There's also other reasons to do that. You could just hook your laptop up to your TV and have a really big screen so this is the most common, the HDMI. This is probably the second most common. It looks very similar to the HDMI port, but it's a display port. This might look familiar to you. This is the old school VGA cable. Now, if you have a newer laptop, you probably won't see this, but I still have a laptop around here somewhere that's about four years old and it has both an HDMI and the old school VGA option so you never know. Okay starting from the top left here this is a DVI port. This is again an older port. You likely won't have this one but just in case you do this is what a DVI port looks like. Right below that you have the VGA port. This is the old school blue one. Just below that you have the HDMI port. Now this is pretty much going to be the standard that you're going to find on your TV, most likely on your laptop. However, you could also have the display port, which is at the top right here. You could also have a USB type C. So they do make USB type C video ports now. Just below this is the mini display port. So these are going to be the most common types. A couple that you don't see here are the mini HDMI, the micro HDMI. Those are less common. You're likely going to have the HDMI port here. Okay, there you have it. Now you can repurpose that laptop with the busted screen, or you can enjoy a larger screen on your laptop or multiple displays on your laptop. Hopefully you'll have a PC monitor sitting around or even a TV if you choose to do that. But if not, I'll drop some links below 
for the cables that you may need, that keyboard and mouse combo, and a monitor. Because at the end of the day, it still may be cheaper to buy yourself a monitor, laptop, and keyboard than replacing the laptop. If you have a higher end laptop, then obviously it would make more sense to get your display fixed. However, this could be a temporary solution just until you're able to get that in the shop and get it taken care of. Don't forget to like and share the video and please subscribe to the channel. Check out some of these other video suggestions. Thank you for watching and until next time.